All right, I'm gonna show you how to iterate um, without a uh, for loop. So old iteration is like, you know, list, we have an array of one, two, you know, one, two, three, we're gonna do a for loop, or You do that. All right, so the better way of doing this is to use um, map, map. So list.map, and then we're gonna put a function in there. So it's gonna be, really? have an index so we know what index it is like what number so we're index index So this is the first one, it'll be one, one, because um, like that, Bam. one, so that's map. Now we're going to do filter. So filter is like basically you do a for loop and then you put the, you know, if statement. And be like I equals two one and then console log list i like that. So we're gonna do a filter. So this is a shorthand for like a if statement. And next, we're gonna do um, reduce. So six. So it will add all of the whole list as a sum, or you can do times, so which is basically six factorial, no, it's three factorial. You remember math is one times two times three times three, so that's three factorial. Four. And you can chain these guys. Yeah, that's about it. Um, so these are three the three higher order functions. Uh, now let's create objects. So 
Now we're gonna create an object like goes to a question one. How are you? Next would be answer. Good. No object. How nice are you? I'm not nice. So that would be an index. So like question. That. That. Bam. New filter. So that's what you can do it. That's how you like loop through an object with map. You can use a lot of this in React, so that's why I'm going over this. So this is basically how you loop through a a list and why um all you know JSONs are like this because this is like an array and an array stores an object and this is like the object. And another way to call this guy is let's pretend um, list one dot question and no for you or with the answer. But map is doing the entire big loop. So Yeah, that's just pretty cool. And that ends my tutorial. So, if you learn something, then great.